What's up, my YouTube family? It's your boy Roberto checking in with another video, guys. I hope everybody's doing great today, man. If you guys don't know, I do stay in Jacksonville, Florida. We are in the midst of a hurricane that's coming through. We are not supposed to get hit big by it, but uh, we will get some bad rain and some bad weather. Pray for those people in Central Florida, Tampa, and places like that because they're going to get the bad part of the hurricane. And those hurricanes are something serious, guys. They do some devastating work. But on to the video, guys. Keep them people in your prayers. We are going to talk about the presidential election coming up. So everybody knows next month is the big day where Kamala Harris and Donald Trump have their final showdown. The election will happen. We know how this goes. Election leaders are not elected. They are picked. And right now, Kamala Harris has so much momentum. The elites got what they want because they knew Joe Biden. They couldn't possibly pick Joe Biden because so many people disliked him so now the media has pushed this narrative that everybody loves kamala harris and trump is just a crazy guy which he is a crazy guy they're both crazy people neither one is better than the other but as you've seen right away they are trying to do away with trump and it's going to happen he's been getting protected by the supreme court and people within his party that have been basically rigging things up so that he wouldn't go to jail if he got elected as president. Well, the elites use their power, their wealth, their money to prevent this. And what's going to happen is they're going to select Kamala Harris as president of the United States, the first female president and the first president of color. Because one, she's going to be easily controlled by them. They're going to manipulate her and they're going to basically run the country for her. She will just be the person that we put all the blame on. She will pass the laws that these wealthy people will love and that will favor them. Trump, in the meantime, if he was to get picked, he would turn into a dictator. He would try to eliminate those people that are controlling the government. And he knows they control the government because they were controlling him too. Just not to the extent that they're controlling everybody else. So what's going to happen is they're going to pick Kamala Harris. Trump's sentencing is a couple weeks after the election. He is going to get sentenced. They're going to lock him up in prison because he is a threat to their power. And what Trump was trying to do, he was trying to over... He was basically trying to be those people that are in power controlling the government, but he wanted to be that one person that was doing that. He's no different from Kamala Harris being controlled by those people because he wanted to be those people that were doing the controlling, guys. He's going to get jailed. There's going to be violence. The Republicans are going to spark up a civil war here in the United States, and then we will see the fall of America. A civil war is brewing. And with that happening there will be a divide within the world. The Western Hemisphere of the world will be sponsoring the Democratic side, and then you have people like Russia, China, Iran, North Korea, and places like that, that will probably be, well, not so much Iran, will probably be sponsoring Trump's side of the Civil War. They will be giving weapons, money, and stuff like that. The country will be destroyed. It will be mayhem. Each country, each state will be basically having to pick a poison. It will probably be the thing where it's a state versus state. It's simple as that. Democratic states versus Republican states. You may see a situation where Florida is fighting off a state like North Carolina, like Georgia and Florida fighting against North Carolina and Tennessee or something. I don't know, but that's how I think it's going to go down until eventually somebody has to give up and whichever side loses those politicians will be jailed and executed, charged with treason. That is just how it's going to happen, guys. We've seen this before in history. History repeats itself, so they say the government here in America is falling apart. The only way America can fall from being the superpower of the world is from within. The military here in America is so much more powerful than everybody else. There is no threat, even with nuclear weapons. We have weapons that you guys wouldn't even understand existed. We have weapons that can literally take out countries. America is the top dog when it comes to military. So the, the other half of the world is loving this. Even the Western countries in NATO, like Germany, France, UK, they're happy to see this because they are tired, tired of American run world. Everybody wants to be the superpower. Everybody wants to run the world. But everybody doesn't like the fact that 
one country is so much further above all the other countries, guys. So what we're going to see is a divide. We're going to see these countries going against each other. And we will see countries being backed by American I'm sorry, not American, but international communities will be supporting each country. Like I said, Russia will be sending weapons to Republican uh, states that are supporting this side and that side. That is how it's going to go. Anytime it looks as if one side's going to win, we will see politicians from each party switching over because they think their party's losing or another party's going to win. They don't want to be executed. That's just what's going to happen. America is falling apart. This is how the election is going to go. Kamala Harris is going to win. Trump will be charged in jail. It will be an uproar from his side, his supporters, his Republican Party. The Civil War will spark. Military generals will pick a side. And bam, now we have Civil War. Politicians will be getting assassinated left and right. America is literally falling apart right before our eyes and this has all been part of the plan guys i can tell you now right after the election he will be charged when he goes to go to court he is not going to be protected he's going to get charged and he's going to be he's already charged he's going to be put in prison they won't allow that a dictator being jailed by another person that's controlled by a bunch of dictators Prepare for something much bigger, much scarier, and much more effective than any superpower country trying to go to war with America. Let us destroy ourselves. And then that's when Russia and China will realize, now after the Civil War, America's weak. Now it's time for us to go in. It doesn't matter who wins. They're going to turn on whoever they sided with and picked. And they're going to attack America. Take our resources. Take all the stuff that we have. Boot us out of the, the Middle East. Boot us out of anywhere that we're at. Because our troops are not going to be able to stay over there. We're going to have a minimal amount of troops around the world. So now we can't police the world. Because they have to come back home and fight. Guys, we are seeing the fall of America. Russia and China has been plotting. Taiwan will go down. Ukraine will go down. Sorry, hit myself in the glass, Roberto. Calm down. All these countries will go down because they don't have the backing of America anymore. Asia will become China's stomping ground. Europe becomes Russia's new uh, uh, proxy state. Ukraine goes. Poland goes. Eastern Europe is going to go down. Asia. Taiwan. The Philippines. Japan. South Korea. All those countries become China's bitches because that's just how it's going to happen with America not being able to defend them anymore because we were too busy fighting at home. Our country has never been this divided since the Civil War. This is all in power. This is all because of those in power, the elites controlling stuff. And they're so scared of Trump because they know this could be the possible outcome. And this is not what they want. Guys, this is Roberto Conspiracy Files checking out. And you know what? I'm going to have a part two. Because there's a lot more I need to tell you guys. There's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes that you guys don't know. Our politicians, there are people in each party being sponsored by international communities that shouldn't be sponsoring them. Simple as that. And there is a huge spy in our government, a very high-ranking politician and a very high-ranking military, military general that is being a spy for another country. We'll talk about that. I have the evidence, guys. Stay tuned.